Let's go over the parts in the kit. First is this board, which contains the 6502 processor. Then you have the FPGA board. Two 40 pin dip sockets. Some pin headers, a dip switch, and two 20 pin vertical sockets. First thing we want to do is to clip the pin headers into two 20 pin lengths. This might have been done for you already, but if not, you can clip them apart like this. Next, you want to note the top and bottom of the board. See the text that says Romulator 1.05? That is the top, and the side with the chips is the bottom. Uh, the side that has the chips is not going to be consistently considered top or bottom in different versions, so just look for that text, Romulator, and the version number. So now we place these headers on the bottom of the board, like shown. And we're going to solder one pin each of these two lengths of header pins just on the side here. And then we want to check that these pins are perpendicular to the board. So just take a look at it, see if they're facing straight up, and if not, just heat up the one pin and adjust until they are just right. We can repeat that on the other side. And again, you can check to make sure that they are facing straight up from the board surface. And after that, just go ahead and solder all the rest of the pins. Oops, just double checking our work here, making sure that all the soldered pins look okay. Now we take one of our dip sockets, check the orientation of the notch, and then look for the CPU notch arrow on the board, and you'll want this to face in the same direction. So just like so, the notch is going to face that way. And then flip the board over, and we're going to do just one corner of the socket pins here. Just that one. Just let it cool down. And I'll double check that the socket is tight against the board. That's good. Repeat on the other corner. good and then just finish off and do all the rest of the pins. And you can double check the work, make sure that the soldering looks okay. Now we're ready to move on to the next part. Flip it over again and get the dip switch. And go ahead and put that in position like so. You may have to adjust the pins a little bit to make it fit in there, but that's how it goes. And then just flip it over and you can again do the 
corners first just to make sure that it's flush and then finish off with the rest of the pins. And then you can place the two 20 pin sockets like so. And flip it over and you can do the one pin each to get the alignment right. Check that they're facing straight up. Now you may have noticed we still have this other dip socket. So these pins here, they are actually too large to go into a dip socket on a motherboard without causing damage to that socket. So the purpose of this dip socket is to go over those pins so we can use the thinner pins on the dip socket to go into the socket on a motherboard. So there's a couple ways of doing this. You can use a pen or pencil like this. Put the dip socket in position and then place it over the pen or pencil to protect the uh, pins from getting bent. Then just apply pressure to one side and then the other. And this will force the pins down into the dip socket. But you can see in this one it's not quite fully on yet so you might have to Push a little bit with your fingernails. Just get that down on there as far as you can. Another way you can do this is with a breadboard. You can place the socket in the breadboard and then put the rest of the romulator board on top and then push on one side and then the other. And uh, that's a little bit easier. But if you don't have the breadboard then pen or pencil will do or you can just push it on in there with your fingernails. And the final stage is to take the FPGA board and we put those pins into the vertical sockets like so. And that's it. We now have an assembled romulator. And the last thing is to take your 6502 processor Check the direction of the notch. It should match the notch on the socket that you just put in. And it should look like that. I'm not going to cover the operation of the rondulator in this video, but keep an eye out for a video tutorial on that coming up very soon. Thanks for watching.